In this video, we'll be seeing about uh, uh, the device configuration for time management purpose. So uh, basically, um, we do this uh, in most cases where the um, client doesn't need to doesn't want to install the software, but he wants the report. If there's a requirement like, like this, we can give them an alternate solution wherein we'll have to configure the shift and other uh, settings on the device and then you will be able to generate an excel sheet uh, directly on the device uh, through the usb port below so we'll start off so we'll log in by uh, entering the device password so here And I'll change it to number. I'll click on OK. So here, first you have to go to attendance and department. So this is how it will be. Here you can enter your company name. I'll enter mine. Vision and I click on OK. I click on OK and got saved. You don't have to do any changes over here. I'll click on Escape and I'll click on Save. So here can you create a departments edit? I'll create a department called Sales. Okay, and I'll click on OK. I'll click on OK. It's saved. I'll click on Escape and I'll click on S. You can create multiple departments as much as you want. I'll click on Escape. Then I'll click on Escape again. Then you can go to User. And currently there are no users. Once you right click on this button, write New. Here you can enter the ID of a person and click on OK and then you can enter the name of the person Amin. and then I'll click on OK I'll click on OK let me edit it ok it's it then we can program the card once you click on set, you can just flash your card right below the scanner. I have flashed a MyFair card and an old card. And I'll click on OK. I'll click on Escape and I'll save. Now you can set fingerprint. I'll come down and I'll click on set and you can select the type of finger which you want and I'll, it's not added currently I'll click on OK and I'll place my finger two times See, it got added and I'll click on escape so my fingerprint is added you can see added over here normal fingerprint and i'll click on escape i'll click on escape and then i'll save it so also you can set um the department for the person if you click on this if you click on edit user you can set the department to sales so it is set, your department is set. I'll save it again. You can kill multiple users as much as you want. So this is, uh, once this step is done, you can go to attendance and uh, 
you can go to shift and then already there are two sh example shifts and we have a couple of uh, custom shifts so you can create as much as shift you want I'll edit this one I'll click on edit and if you want to rename you can rename this and you can set the shift timings like uh, in my case it would be from 8 to 17 I'll click on escape and I'll save and uh, you can create multiple shifts also so here if you have a split shift you can create that one also like here in this case it starts from 9.30 and the shift ends at 12.30 people go for break and come in at 1.30 and uh, finally they were at 17.30 so we can create shifts like this also I'll click on escape and I'll click on save so then we have something called man hours so here you will be entering the number of hours they wanted to work like for example uh, let's say they can come at any time and go at any time but they have to cover like 8 or 9 hours you can just enter that over here I'll click on I'll click on escape so here you can set holidays I'll uh, click on uh, new and then you can type the holiday name so you can use this button for space ok and click on ok click on ok and then you can select from day to today it's going to be on only on one day so from 1st of January 2019 to 1st of January 2019 and I'll click on ok so I'll click on escape and then save so it's saved you can create as much as holidays you want it's just a type of and we have schedule so here we'll apply the uh, shift to the people or to a department so here one way is if you have multiple people under sales who belong to the same, same shift you just have to click on sales and then you can select from date to to date and then you can select the shift directly from here so here there are multiple options manhar and normal so normal would be like shift and manhar would be the number of hours he needs to work so i'll uh, we can set up as per our needs and uh, we have a shift we can apply shifts um, by individual also i can uh, currently no shift is assigned so I will click on add shift schedule I will select my name and uh, once I enter the date from date and to date I can click on ok and here you have the week we just have to move in and the uh, arrow is pointed over here you can just change it accordingly and whichever is off you can just put it as none for example Friday is off you can just scroll and put Friday off as none so none will be assigned so this is how we uh, configure the shift to a person I'll just click on escape and then click on save so it's saved so that's pretty much it that's pretty much it so here at the end you can directly generate the reports any of these reports so all you have to do is uh, you have to select that select the priority of report select from date and to date and then you just have to type a device id which will be appended at the front of the report name and uh, once you click on ok it will be generated currently i have not 
no usb pen drive installed once you insert a uh, pen drive and once you click on ok it will be start it will uh, download the report onto the pen drive so here's the usb port for the device thanks for watching